and today I'm bringing you a video showing off the um, monthly kit from Illustrated Faith for the month of March. And if you're not familiar, this is a kit that they put out each month over on Dayspring. And they partner with different women throughout the community to do their artwork and to write their devotions. So I have other videos on past kits on my channel, so be sure to go check those out. So this month's kit was actually sent to me by Dayspring, so thank you so much, Dayspring. And I love their kits so much, I had actually already purchased the kit, so that will be coming hopefully today, and that will be in a giveaway probably over on Instagram, so keep an eye out for that. And I'm gonna apologize ahead of time, my dogs are running back and forth across linoleum, so you can hear <laughs> the pitter patter of their feet. So this month's kit is the Free to Flourish kit, and it's by Becca Blankenship. Now, if you're not familiar with Becca Blankenship and her artwork and her heart, um, I'm gonna put her Instagram handle down in the description bar down below. Please be sure to go check her out and give her some love over there. She has some absolutely beautiful um, artwork and just her heart is so kind and so beautiful. So please go over and check her out. So the kit comes in this fun, uh, clear zipper pouch and everything is contained within the pouch, which is great. So, um, the artwork was done by Becca this month and it is gorgeous, oh my goodness. So here's the pouch, it says beautiful, forgiven, purposed, and it has her fun doodle flowers with a watercolor, and these are just, I love it. If you've been around on my channel or follow me on Instagram for any length of time, you know that doodle flowers and watercolor are my jam. That is totally my go-to kind of style. So I am very excited about this month's kit. So you get that. Um, what I usually do is I keep everything in the bag. I stick some markers, maybe some paints, some other products, washi tapes and things like that that I'm using for the month for that kit and keep everything right in here. That way I can just pick it up and it's ready to go. So. There is that. And then let's look at the washi tape for this month. And it is this really pretty blue colored washi with little pink hearts and it says flourish. And this is a more opaque washi tape. Some of the washies in the past have been translucent. Um, this one's pretty opaque. So it you might be able to see the lettering through it, but I, I don't think so. Super cute. And then you get the fun uh, magnetic bookmark. So, and it's in this really pretty spring green color and it says grow. Again, in that typewriter font. I love the mix of the typewriter font and her hand lettering this month. Um, that's also kind of my go to um, all across my channels and my social media you can see even in um, a lot of my branding is this typewriter font and things like that so I love that um, so this is the note from Shauna so you get the note from Shauna here and then the hashtag for this month is if underscore free to flourish so if you're going to use the kit or post about it on social media be sure to use that hashtag so everybody else can see how you're working through the kit that's a great way for us to all join in together and kind of see what everybody's working on so absolutely beautiful you can save this card and use it as a tip in tape it down use it as an element in your page so hold on to that super cute um one other thing that they have in the kit here is the tip ins so you get three tip ins this one here says she laughs without fear of the future that's proverbs 31 25 and then live dream sing free this fun watercolor background and it looks like this is actually a stamp so if you're familiar with these are these little cube stamps from Michaels they look a lot like these so if you have these it'd be great to use alongside the kit this month um, I've also had some people ask about storage here's a little bonus tip for this video um, I keep these stamps in these little uh, dishes like this and then I have a drawer right here in front of me on my desk and they just stay living in there. So they're all ready to go. So bonus tip. <laughs> and this tip in here says, how precious are your thoughts about me, oh God. Psalm 139, 17. And again, gosh, I just love the colors and the doodling of this month is gorgeous. The backside is some plain colored cardstock. 
So you could either use these as a tip-in into your Bible and take notes on the back side. This one you could use a white gel pen or something like that. Or you can adhere it completely down into the page. Or just use these as a free-floating bookmark. In past kits, my kids actually will come and take these from me. <laughs> they probably won't this kit because they're a little more girly, but they come and take them and use them in their books, which is fine. They most of the time have scripture on them, so I'd rather them use that than something else. Uh, usually my favorite part of the kit is this. This is the stamp set and these are all doodled and created by Becca. Oh my gosh, her style is just totally hits my heart here. Okay, so you've got some fun uh, little words here. Thrive, grow, live, sing. And then you have some of her uh, hand lettering, dream, rest, free. Um, and then you have this fun little dot texture. If you don't have any of the uh, texture stamps from Illustrated Faith, I don't think that I have that set right here readily available, but um, these types of stamps are great for just adding some detail to the background of the page. And you can see here, she's got kind of these, let's see if I can get you to see this, little like ink splatters. Um, this is a controlled way to add splatters to your page if you don't feel comfortable uh, throwing paint on there. So that is a great uh, piece that you can use in other projects as well. Um, you have these fun, beautiful florals that she doodled out here. This down here says, count it all joy and all things new. You have this fun scribble uh, oval here. And then you have this scallop piece. Scallops seem to be on trend right now. All the stamps companies are coming out with some form of a scallop. They're appearing in everything right now. So definitely on trend if you're worried about that thing. <laughs> this is a really fun little uh, piece and it should pretty much cover the spans of the margin. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so that'll be a great little, if you're gonna break up maybe um, some of your artwork and then your journaling down below it, that's a great little piece for breaking that up. So and you can see even the larger floral fits in the margin without covering the words. So that's great, I, I appreciate that. So there are the stamps. And then don't throw away the stamp backer. If uh, Remember there are pieces in here and look how beautiful this is. So. This is the back side of the little note from Becca herself. Here's Becca. And so you can take a look and see what she has to say about the kit this month. And then don't throw this away. You could cut this out. You could cover this with um, pattern paper or just leave her note and use it as a tip-in or something like that. Uh, I also take and use all my different little paper punches and cut out different shapes out of pieces like this. So that is super pretty. And then on the inside here, you have pieces that you can cut out. You've got some chunky tabs this month. Um, so this won't fit in your uh, tab punch. Uh, these will have to be fussy cut out. And then some little banners there, some circles. These do look like they are larger than the one inch circle. So you'll probably have to fussy cut those out as well. Or I still use my one inch and just let it kind of bleed off the edge and that's okay. And then you have these pieces here, um, and these should fit in your margin. Let's take a look. Yep, just shy of two inches, so these will fit into the margin without covering out the words as well, if that's something that um, you're concerned about. And fun ink splatters. So I'm looking forward, ink splatters, I think that adds a lot of fun to pages. That's something I do quite frequently. So I hope you guys all um, take a chance if you're not already doing it and splatter some paint in your Bible this month. It's fun, I promise. It seems a little scary at first, but I love it. It's kind of my go-to technique now. You also have the cardstock stickers. So you get a cardstock uh, alpha and it's got this really pretty uh, spring green watercolor wash as the background. And then you have these elements here. One thing I will say that I love is that these shapes are the same throughout the kit. So let me pull out one of the other ones here. 
Um, you can see that the shapes are the same. So if you've got leftover pieces, which you know you can see here that I do, you could utilize these in other kits together. You know, like this piece here, if colors coordinate, things like that, don't toss these. You can pull them out and use them again in other kits. So I love that. I love that there's some continuation between the kits. You get some tabs, these fun little banners, um, and again, just all of her fun typewriter and hand uh, lettering there. So super pretty. And then here's the meat of the kit. Here's the devotional. It was written by uh, Becca this month. And look how gorgeous her artwork is. So if you've watched some of my videos before, you know that I like to take these apart and scan them into my computer so that I can have them in the future for personal use only um, if I want to go through a kit again or something like that. And this one is so pretty. I cannot wait to just hoard it and use all the different pieces of it because it's super pretty. So Free to Flourish is the name of the kit this month. And it's a 14-day devotional. And the theme kind of between her entries throughout seems to be free from or free to. So that's a way to kind of streamline your entries if you wanted to um, in your Bible, if you wanted to see some continuation between your entries, um, specifically from this devotional, that's um, some idea to you know keep, keep that in, in your mind. And these devotionals are great. If you are not into coloring into your Bible, you can still utilize these kits. So you can do all of your journaling right here in your devotional. All these pieces will work right here in the blank spaces of this devotional. You can also, what, like here where you don't have a lot of room to uh, decorate, you could washi tape a piece of paper here and then you could do your um, illustrating there. You've got, you know, these tip-ins that you could washi tape in there and take some notes on the back side. So don't let it scare you away if you are not comfortable with coloring or painting and things like that in your Bible. These kits are still very valuable. I stand behind these kits. This kit was, was sent to me by Dayspring this month, but you guys know I have bought it every single month and I actually bought it this month as well. So I have an extra one um, that will be a giveaway. And I, I just love them. I think the content is great. They are picking wonderful people to write the devotions. They are deep enough to get you in the word and to get you inspired, but they're not so deep that you're feeling frustrated or overwhelmed or anything like that. Again, this is a 14 day devotional. So you've got the whole month to get through 14 days. Um, sometimes it'll go a couple days and I can't get to it. So I'll sit down and do, you know, three days at a time and sit and take an hour and a half and that's okay. This is free to do however you um, would like to approach it. So uh, definitely check out the kits if you haven't already. And those of you who have gotten them before, you know, you know how great these kits are. So if you have any questions about the kit or anything I showed today, be sure to leave that down in the description or in the comments down below. I do answer those as I see them come up. And um, there will be a link in the description bar to where you can get this kit. That is an affiliate link. What that means is it costs the same for you, but I do receive a partial commission from that. So just be aware of that. But um, there will be a link to that. And um, I can't wait to see how you guys are creating in the kit this month. So until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.